Right now at 5, the fences come down once again in Sherman Park, but the dispute isn't over. Yeah, the sheriff says the park closes at 6 o'clock. The county executive, however, says that it's open until 10, and a judge for now agrees with the county executive. Julia Fellow live with us on this new dispute between David Clark and Chris Abley, with people living near Sherman Park pretty much caught in the middle, huh, Julia? That's right. Chris Abley says that he felt that the fencing needed to come down as soon as possible to help this community heal after what happened all the unrest on August 13th. He says he's been trying to get a hold of the county sheriff for weeks. We sent letters for weeks trying to get in charge, uh, in touch with the sheriff's office and asked the same thing. Hey, could you take down the fence? Instead, it came down to a courtroom showdown. A clearly frustrated judge didn't hold anything back during Sunday's special session. I wish the sheriff and the county executive would have worked something out. Uh, but the sheriff seems... Uh I think he's above the law and decide what he wants to do. After Chris Abley had jail inmates tear the fencing down yesterday morning, the sheriff ordered deputies to put the fencing back up and arrest anyone who refused to leave the park after 6 p.m., even the county executive. The sheriff was all over the media saying that he was going to arrest me or whatever. I'm not interested in fights. That's a waste of my time and your time. I'm interested in giving the community its park back. The judge sided with Abley, so park workers tore the fencing down just this afternoon. Sherman Park is usually bustling with families this holiday. We could only find two this year. Thankful it's gone. As the sheriff's office still keeps their presence. Everybody shouldn't be punished for this. We want to be able to come to the park and just relax and not have to worry about being caged in. That's basically what they were doing. We reached out to Sheriff David Clark all day yesterday, this weekend. Today, we have not heard back from him or any of his representatives. His temporary restraining order stays in effect, so he can't put up any orange fencing. He can't change any type of curfew. This park will remain open, normal hours, so it will close at 10 p.m. tonight, normal time. Reporting live in Sherman Park, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. All right, thank you, Julia.